So I don't know if anybody of you saw Friday's stream, but I was asking for people to go hiking and making videos. I'm going to meet Corey right now. We've never met in our life, so hopefully we like each other because we got a two hour drive to Clifty Falls. <laughs> never been to Clifty Falls either. First things first though, my camera's gonna fall and I gotta get a bagel. Everything bagel with cream cheese, gonna get everywhere. Mmm, mmm. Okay, so I'm here with Corey. Hey. And he just told me that there is a tree growing out of the courthouse. I just know that coming through here, that's what they're known for. So that's I so wanted weird. to point that out to you. Yeah, that's like some sort why. of like back to the future oh. town square, you know. Oh yeah, that, you know. <laughs> so we're almost there. We're like 20, 30 minutes, 40 no, minutes no, out. We're about an hour away. From okay, there. we're about an hour out. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know why I thought we were that close, but. Yeah, it's, a, it's not a quick drive. Okay, so this is the Big Oaks National Wildlife Refuge. I've seen this on the map many, many times before, but I've never come here. But Corey says that this is a place where they just have a fence. Yeah, I was riding my motorcycle down 421 and noticed this fence, it goes like 10 miles. And then all along the fence it says, no trespassing, US government property. And I think this is where they would test ordinances. Um, um, yep, yep. But all the wildlife is kind of fenced in here, so. Whoa. Yeah. Up to 1.5 million. Okay, we have arrived, and I think we got our route more or less planned. We're gonna try to just do a loop around. It is perfect weather right now. In fact, I don't think it could be any better. That was amazing views, a lot quicker than I thought. <laughs> I was just like right into the trail. Corey here was telling me that one time when he went to Red River Gorge, he talked to a guy who he later found out was our boy Ron Mueller. Ron, if you're watching this, this trail has many smiles per mile. Okay, so it looks like we loop around this road back to the other side of the valley, and then we continue on the trails over there. It's 
this place has been here all this time. I've definitely been missing out. It's great. It does feel a bit... I'll just stay on the trail. <laughs> we'll be good. <laughs> So can we actually go in here? You can. Let's see when it's, yeah, May 1st to the 31st. Oh, uh, we're going You in. can go in. <laughs> <laughs> it says Are you like Ace Ventura? You don't like that? I don't like, no. Yeah, let's do it. There's a uh, area up there that's really big. Whoa, this, it goes this far back? What? All right, we're going in. Wow, dude, it is really dark in here. <laughs> It's funny because this camera makes you think that it's a lot brighter than it is. It is quite dark in here. It's wet too. Wow, that's cool too. I don't see any bats yet. I think we're almost there actually. You can still see the exit of the tunnel out there. Although I see the end of the tunnel. We may be out of danger just yet. <laughs> Somebody, somebody come to kill us. Yep. Yeah. <laughs> huh. There's no bats this whole time. Yeah, they're out. Oh, they're should out. Be. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They should have flown off by now. I was going to say, I want my money back. <laughs> Five bats minimum. We made it. We made it alive. All right, not bad. So that tunnel was man-made? I believe so. Yeah, I think it was made to, for miners. No, for railroad, from, oh, from Ohio. It's oh, Indianapolis. Yeah. Indianapolis, I didn't realize that. This tunnel is part of a failed attempt in the years 1852 to 1854. Huh, well, they got the whole tunnel made at least. Yeah, I wonder why it was failed. He's like, you know, there's flatter, easier places to put a train track. I think so. <laughs> So do we know what type of rock this is? Is this limestone or something? I think that's what that thing just said. Okay. Yeah. Probably. Yeah, limestone's real soft, right? Or is it sandstone? <laughs> limestone? Is that same stuff? I think limestone is a type of sandstone. I do remember in elementary school when I was growing up, there's a lot of limestone in Indiana. It's, it's reasonably likely. It's two blind people leading each other right now. So <laughs> the viewers are gonna have to be the ones informing us. So it seems that a lot of these rocks are old ruins and foundations from when they were trying to construct a railroad here. That's very cool. Like this right here. Assuming that might be part of it. Or that's just part of the trail, but back there. <laughs> A bit uphill here. Feels pretty good to sweat though. I didn't say that much. It 
So I believe we were somewhere down there and then the main waterfall is right there. Feeds down into the smaller ones. Well, we went up really fast. So we got a fork in the road and one of them leads to a fire tower. So we want to go check that out. And then the other one should lead to the rest of the trail. Well, three will lead us right to it also. Okay. So I think we stay on here. It'll take us right to it. Okay, left to the tower, here we go. Okay, out of nowhere, we've got some very steep uphill. Continues back down that way. Oh. There was a dad with his two kids back there. And the one kid was just repeating over and over. <laughs> I want to turn around. <laughs> Little did he know that he would have to go back up this if he did. So he's in for a world of hurt later today. Oh, there's a tower. Oh, it's, it's a little bitty one. Yeah, I thought it was bigger. <sighs> Whoa, out of nowhere. I can feel the power coursing through me. That is so tight. Oh, mama. So that in the distance is Madison, Indiana. Okay, so this will take us all the way up the creek, and if we wanted to go down that, we'd have to come back yep. again, right? Yep. I don't want to go all the way, but that's what she said, but we'll go part of the way. <laughs> nice place for a swim. Yeah. I'm not sure how well it's coming through on video, but this valley here is vast. It is very big. It's not quite Red River Gorge big, but you definitely every now and then look out and then you feel it. You're like, ooh, we were all the way down there. That was a trek. Does it feel like a literal lifetime ago that we were over there? Or is that just me? Quite a while. Oh, you know what? I think maybe I know what these things are. It's like bear corns or something. I don't think I've ever seen them when they're fresh like this though. They usually they're like really dark brown. Maybe it's a different thing. We are just a stone's throw away from the parking lot right now. That was a beastly little hike and I've worked up a beastly little hunger. We've got a post hike meal place picked out already. And then it just so happens <laughs> that where we met up back in Indianapolis, there's a nice little donut place that I frequent <laughs> called Jack's Donuts. <laughs> and I may or may not go get some donuts after this. And by may or may not, I mean I will get some donuts after this. <laughs> One hundred seven floors, seven point five miles, sixteen thousand steps. Yeah, that's a that's a full burger. Full burger and two sides. <laughs> That's 
our burger. There's our fries. And presumably our bun is somewhere over there. That is a very large burger. All right, this is Miller's mustard. That's like a super spicy mustard. Good to meet you. Good to meet you. Good hiking. Excellent hike. I'll see you next time. what's going to be dealt with right now. So, thank you for watching today's vlog. I will spend the rest of the credits, or however long the song, in fact, I'll put some credits on screen, I'll do some credits rolling while I eat the, <laughs> this donut. Mm. Well, I do kind of stand by that, okay, life is worth living without this. But, I don't see the point. <laughs> mm. You know that's my favorite kind. Mm -hmm. <laughs> you have to eat it all in this one trip. Oh, don't worry, this is all I'm gonna need right now. <laughs> don't you worry about that. <laughs> don't you show them what you look like as a woman. Okay. So apparently there's a Snapchat filter that makes you look like a woman. I look like a hot woman, man. I'd date her. For sure. Kind of ethnically ambiguous just like me. <laughs> That's gonna be the death of humans. Is when, not only once we get holodecks, if they make a version of yourself that's female, you'd be like, I'M IN LOVE! Both <laughs> <laughs> same interests? Same you like the same thing to me? You're gonna even look like me! <laughs> I never need to leave the house again! <laughs> Computer, replicate me some donuts! <laughs> me and myself are gonna eat them! And then have sex with each other! This is horrible! about the future we're barreling towards. I'll see you in the next one.